governor, and our first candidate is the businessman from uh, Do Dover, of course? <laughs> Dover and Boys. He's making a lot of money there. Uh, Jack Kimball. <laughs> Actually, my business is in Portsmouth. I do live in Dover. <laughs> I take a lot of phone calls in Dover as well for business. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm a businessman uh, in this state for actually over 32 years as an employer, but I've been living here for 40 years, and my entire life has been spent in the private sector. I know something about how to create an environment in which small business can flourish. We don't have that right now. In fact, it's disastrous. It's the yoke of taxation on small business folks in this state is untenable. We have to provide immediate and deep tax relief for small businesses. We have to broaden the tax base, not increase taxes. The business enterprise tax needs to go away, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the business profits tax of 8.5%, one of the highest in the country, it's a killer. Most businesses, small businesses, push, push back against that tax. How about this? The higher your profit, the lower the rate. Think about that. Incentivize small business folks. Workless compensation. Big black pit to which we throw thousands and thousands of dollars. How about this? You have a good claims record? Get most of the premium back at the end of the year. I don't mind helping out, but I'm sick and tired of subsidizing bad behavior. It's time for bad behavior to be punished, not rewarded. The LLC tax? It's tabled until November. If that ever sees the light of day, you will see businesses in this state decimated. It has to be buried once and for all, and we will make sure that happens. You all know that we have an $800 million structural deficit. Think about that number. And it only took about six years to get us there. It's going to take some doing to undo that. We're going to have to cut costs in this state. We've got to cut spending. Spending's the issue. It's not revenue. This budget has exploded. So, a couple of the targets. We certainly have to look at every department, some more than others. Do you all know that every state department has a human resources department? How about just one? We have 90 SAU, school administrative units in this state. How about one per county? While I'm at it and talking about education, I believe that the federally mandated education system in this country, No Child Left Behind, has left most children behind. It is an abject failure. We need to get back to local control of our schools. Let the teachers teach. Let them be the innovative people that they truly are. Let them loose. Turn them loose. Educate the kids. I believe in vouchers. The money should follow the student. If you're unhappy with the education that your child is getting in the school they're going to, pull them out. Send them to a private school if you desire will help you do it. Homeschooling. You know, it's funny, 40 years ago I wouldn't be saying what I'm about to say now. But I have a lot of people helping me out in my campaign that homeschool, and they're superlative. They are the best of the best. I am so proud of them. So the parents that can homeschool and want to homeschool, Take the barriers down, let them do it. It has to become about the children again. It has to be about the kids. The Tenth Amendment of the United States Constitution, states' rights, state sovereignty. You're going to be hearing an awful lot about that in the coming months and years. I'm running, not because I'm a politician. I'm running because I'm a patriot. And I will tell you firsthand, firsthand that the way we're going to take back our country is through the states. You are going to need warriors as governors. Chris Christie comes to mind. Jan Brewer comes to mind. And Bobby Jindal comes to mind. It is high time the federal government understood that it is we the states that have granted them the few and limited powers that they have. All the rest belong to us. Us. So the day of reckoning is near. I'm elected governor. We will file suit against Obamacare. You can count on that. And Tim Pawlenty did a wonderful thing. Exec executive order forbidding Obamacare to be 
uh, activated in any state government agency. Those are the things and the courageous things that governors are going to have to do in this country. We need to fight back against the ever encroaching federal government. Lastly, I'm a United States Navy veteran. I'm proud of that. But when I was a young sailor, I took an oath. And that oath was to protect and defend the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States of America from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. We are there. We are there. That oath did not end the day I left the military. When I'm governor, I will govern in accordance with the United States Constitution and the Constitution of the State of New Hampshire. Lastly, here's your challenge. Tuesday, September 14th, you need to vote for the best candidate. You need to vote for someone not because they're your friend, your neighbor, or maybe you play ball with them on the athletic field. This election is the most important election in our lifetime. It cannot be about politics as usual. It has to be about being an American before the R or the D. I need your help on September 14th, and God help John Lynch. You can count on that. Thank you very much.